so in order to use the handbrake software you need to firstly install the software as you have done it already and after installing the software uh, this is the screen that you are greeted with it's not very difficult to use the software just click on the source open folder open file open the file that you want to convert so in in my case if i want to convert uh, suppose a small file that i already have then uh, i can choose any video file which i think is big enough supposedly if i if i have some video file that i think is big enough and which is uncompressed according to me which is uh, really uncompressed some that sort of video file so for suppose uh, if i have some uncompressed means something which is in raw format okay i have something in raw format let's see where it is a uh, video of me performing to the song jo bhi main here uh, well actually it's a very big file 0.98 gb so let's it's okay dot move container 0.98 gb file let's see how good results that we can get with it container uh, keep the container as mp4 and click on web optimized in order to achieve the full compression rate that you want to achieve okay and for destination specify a file name for example i want to save this on desktop so i will write it as jo bhi mein okay and i will click on save and after that i have to do nothing i have to just click on start i clicked on start preparing to encode okay so it's preparing to encode here the average fps frames per second rate is shown average fps is shown current fps is shown percentage progress is shown okay and elapsed time how much time has passed since i started it time remaining 5 minutes 38 seconds or something like that it's pretty much time uh till then let's do something else should we really do something else well we can do something else till then hmm okay okay 5 minute 52 seconds let's just pause the recording for that time and i would resume after 10 seconds are remaining for the completion okay uh so hello guys we are back here and as you can see the progress the video has been encoded up to 97.99 and 8.24 98.31 time remaining 7 seconds 6 second 5 4 3 2 1 and it has been so much time how long 99.98 and it stuck there matlab what is this q finished okay the q finished here tells us the q finished here tells us that the video has been encoded let's check for our new file where it is You can see my desktop. It's pretty much 271 MB VLC media file dot MP4 271 MB length 3 minutes 6 second availability offline. The original file was 0.98 GB and it was the same. And let's check if we find any noticeable difference in the quality of the two video files. Where was the original video file? The original video file was somewhere here. This is the original video file. Let's play the original video file. Oh, checking the quality. So this is the original media file. and now let's play the one that has been made after compression no noticeable difference because the compression is of a good quality and the original video was also 1920 to 1080 full hd and the compressed video is also 1920 to 1080 full hd video so as you can see 
it's really good software for compression and the container can be optimized to mkv2 but mkv does not have uh, different options like mp4 web optimized like mp4 and uh, mkv also re reduces file size to a very very small file size so in case you are encoding very large movies and you can sacrifice some of the quality mkv is also a good format and one more thing that you can do is that uh, the resolution that has been specified so for example i had 1920 to 1080 i can get even more compression if I made it 720p HD if I made it 720p HD the aspect ratio would have been uh, display size would have become 1280 to 720 and uh, there would be no matlab, there would be no noticeable difference between the two videos you can you could see uh, even 720p HD looks good on the video screens and why go for too high quality if you are not an enthusiast you see filters you can use these filters for even more but i would recommend that you don't opt for them h.264 you can even reduce the frame rate if you really want more compression and you can even reduce the average bit rate of the video file audio so codec aac bit rate you can select the bit rate to 128 kbps to get even lesser audio size and 128 kbps does not uh, does not distort or it's Matlab, it's without noise till 128 kbps the quality is good and if you go below 128 kbps somewhat noise can be heard in the audio and loss of quality occurs so you know uh, in order to receive the highest compression in uh, while doing video compression you can uh, use 1280 to 720 resolution you can select the audio format bitrate to 128 kbps and apart from that the codec AAC AAC FAAC it's already a really good codec for audio compression you can select this or you can select the mp3 audio codec but i would recommend aac and and then just you click on start and compress the video that you want to compress so that was all for today this is aitana jha from inspiredtorize.com and this was our guide for how to compress really large video files into smaller versions I hope bloggers and webmasters as well as aspiring artists like me would find this very useful because the videos that we shoot from our cameras and all of the equipment they come out really large and we need to compress them before uploading them on the internet. So this was all for today. This is Aitya signing off. Sayonara folks.